The constitution, if you go under the Public Services Commission, which includes the civil service, mm -hmm. there are provisions that are meant to protect victimization. Yeah. Because there is an assumption that the bureaucracy is supposed to be neutral. Mm -hmm. So if somebody is doing their job and not being biased, they shouldn't be victimized. But now you are saying that I should pay you to stop you from being biased. <laughs> You know, otherwise, if I don't pay, you'll be biased. I, I, like, the, I like the way you put it. <laughs> it, doesn't, it, doesn't, it doesn't make, it doesn't, you know, it's not mm -hmm. consistent. And also, you know, the, the, I don't see how this, you say, okay, there are political appointees who are benefiting from certain allowances. Well, that's why they are in the political class. It, you cannot do the two jobs. You cannot be a civil servant and want to be in, in also a political appointee. Because if you do that, then we basically you are saying that you do your nine to nine, then you want to also go and be an MP. MPs don't get that opportunity. Mm. Even if they have to do that, they have to get permission from the speaker and all of that to go and do those things. Yeah, sure. But the public service, the civil service, is, is, a, is a peculiar institution. Yes, fine. Even with all these neutrality allowance, we know that it's also politicized. So even that doesn't even solve the problem. Yeah. Right? But... It is, it is just, you know, fundamentally for me, immoral uh, for anybody to make that kind of, you know, argument. And it does not solve the problem which is, has triggered this, you know, uh, proposal, for instance. It doesn't solve the compensation inequities that exist mm. and will continue to exist if we don't tackle it, you know, uh, formally. So uh, I'm afraid that uh, this, uh, it might pass, but if, as I said, the only way is to try to challenge it as this a matter, constitutional issue.